Today I'm going to show you how you can teach your dog to paint. For this project you need just a few simple supplies. I have a simple white canvas that I got at the craft store. This one's 8 inches by 10 inches. You can use whatever size you'd like, but make sure that you get one that will fit inside the Ziploc bag that you have. Then I have a jumbo size Ziploc bag. This is a little bigger than a gallon Ziploc bag. I also have an assortment of acrylic paints from the craft store. And then I have some dog safe peanut butter, just your typical Jif natural at the grocery store and a knife. You could also use something like Cheese Whiz, anything that's spreadable that your dog will enjoy if your dog's not a fan of peanut butter. And then of course you need a food mot motivated dog to be your artist. To get started, you wanna pick out your paint colors. Typically I recommend three to four paint colors, but you can use whatever you'd like. Today I've picked out these four colors and then I'm simply gonna start by putting some paint on the canvas. And you can just sort of freestyle this in whatever design you like. What you're doing here is providing some paint for the dog to work with. Now don't worry, we're gonna be putting this in the Ziploc bag in just a minute, so your dog won't actually be touching this paint at all. One tip, I always like to put a little bit of white or black or gray at the end. Um, I think it really helps to provide some contrast. So once you have your paint on the canvas, you're going to open your Ziploc bag, try and get it open nice and wide there, and then you want to very carefully slide the canvas into the bag and seal it up. Now try your best to get some of the air out as you seal it. There we go. Now, you're gonna use some peanut butter to put on the bag to encourage your pup to look at it. So I just put little dollops of peanut butter all over the canvas. And this is on the plastic bag. Hopefully your pup is a fan of peanut butter. If not, you could probably try something like Cheese Whiz. Anything spreadable and dog safe should work just fine. Okay, so now that we're ready to go, we're gonna get our artist, our dog to come out here and help us out. So this is Yoda. Yoda is our foster dog from Lifeline Animal Project and he's going to help us paint today. So all I'm gonna do is put the peanut butter cover bag down on the floor and let Yoda go to work. And as he's licking the peanut butter off inside the bag, he's also helping to spread the paint around. Now you can see I've put a towel on here to protect the deck, but in most cases, um, the messiest part is just putting the paint on the canvas which you do yourself. So this is a pretty mess-free project, which is great. So as you can see, Yoda's done a great job of getting all the peanut butter off the bag. He is just about done. He is laying down to take a rest now. So we're going to go ahead and in just a moment, open up the bag and see what it looks like. So when we open up the bag, we want to try and be as careful as we can about um, not dragging too much of the paint on the inside of the bag. Set that aside and you can pull out the painting and there we go. That is our work of art today. Now the paint will definitely need to dry. So just set that somewhere where it can dry for a few hours and then you are good to go. Thanks for watching.